hello good morning how are you on this video i'm going to be sharing um a side of me that you have not seen as much like but if you've been watching my videos like earlier the first video i posted this year or even the last video i posted in 2023 the vision was it the last or the second last the one on a vision board and also now the first one that i posted i think on 10th or 9th of january uh there's something that i kept mentioning which uh, i really have not shown that side of me to you guys so and the site is uh loving god um knowing god being prayerful like that was a resolution for me this year and so far so good i'm still learning it's a process but uh, on this video i'm going to be showing you my spiritual journey of what i usually do so um my friend rosalia hi rosalia introduced me to uh v vincentian okay i've always heard of vincentian but I, I never like visited the place but the first time i visited that place was a time in my life where i was grieving i was sad you know and i really needed to heal heal my my heart heal my soul like a lot was happening and um that was uh, the first time i visited was end of november 2023 and uh, after that this year this will be i think the fourth time i'm going there so i usually go like fridays so at first and i didn't know that they have um uh, uh the services every friday so the the other time i went this year was uh the the last friday of um uh, january because i thought it happens like the last friday of uh the month but apparently it happens every friday so after that i traveled home but um in between and all that i've visited this will be the fourth time so i'm going to be taking you on a journey oh okay i'm not going to uh record everything but uh, i'll explain where i can and uh show you how it has been okay uh every fridays they usually services they are from 8 30 a.m to 4 30 p.m but every friday of the end of the month is when there is a night vigil okay so the night vigil goes from 8 p.m to 5 a.m so um i prefer the night the day the, the day services so i usually go from morning to evening and other places amazing so i'm going to be taking you to a journey <laughs> welcome i'm sharon kalunga please subscribe and watch till the end <laughs> no counseling can set a human heart free it's only jesus and jesus and jesus alone so the scripture says if jesus sets you free you are free indeed hallelujah, hallelujah. somebody having met with an accident problem on the right her leg the hip joint you're not able to stand for long not able to walk properly 
God is healing someone who injured your right hip joints. Who had this problem? Right hip joint. Somebody who had injured it. God has healed someone. Who is that person? Raise your hand. God has healed you. Let's give a mighty clap to God. John 8, 36. If the Son sets you free, you will be free indeed. Now two of you stand face to face. Two people stand face to face. No one should stand alone. If you are alone, raise your hand and look around and find the one who is alone. Two people, just two people, stand face to face. We are with Jesus. We have committed many sins. Most of the time, we are so much worried about, I am hurt, I am wounded, I am offended. But I don't know the many people whom I hurt. The way you have suffered, the way you have humiliated, I have suffered it. Close your eyes and feel Jesus being beaten up, putting the crown of thorns in his head, put piercing that thorns into his head. Blood is oozing out from his head. He's standing in front of you. Where Pilate is asking, presenting this wounded Jesus in front of the people. I have seen no case against this man to be crucified. I don't find anything, but I know today it's my unforgiveness, my hatred, my bad habit that made him to suffer this much. Oh Jesus, even today I humiliate you by holding on to hatred. I pretend and I repeatedly say I love you and I hate you from my heart with unforgiveness. Forgive me, my Lord. I want to become a new person. I have to become humble. I decide to forgive. Oh, my Jesus, I truly love you. Oh, my Jesus, where else I go, I forgive. Good evening. It's 12 hours later since I recorded when I was leaving the house because I left at 8 and it's 8. I left at 8 a.m. and it's 8 p.m. But good news. I just bought a Bible and a prayer book. So, um, I've put these together with chapel so you can see the, the marks there. I don't know. I'm just going to wipe it later. But yeah. Uh, for the longest time, I've not had a Bible, a few, um, hard copy Bible. I have had the soft copy, but I really wanted the, these. Like just opening and reading the word of God. Like it was one of my resolutions. Uh, under faith and uh, growing stronger in faith and this one is a prayer book it's called christ is all it was love not nails that kept jesus on the cross um today's experience today is first of march today's experience was my best today is the fifth time i've been in this session fourth time this year
so today's was the best let me tell you i have a headache because i cried i've always if anytime i went there apart from last friday last friday i didn't cry and i thought that um i was healed because uh i had some sorrow and sadness in my heart but today today i cried today i wailed i have never wailed i have never like <laughs> like that like until i'm shaking oh my god today's preaching was so full of feeling it was so profound and yeah I, i'm so happy about it so today's friday first of march and uh so i'm planning to go for the the coming up retreat it's a the lenten retreat which is starting third of march by the time you see this <laughs> I love uh, attended the retreat so it goes from third to seven those are five days and uh, you actually just pay 500 shillings for the five days and they give you accommodation food and the retreat like I'm imagining how like just eight hours is it eight hours eight to eight from eight thirty to four thirty is eight hours right imagine what eight hours have done to me how about I be a boarder for five days like i stay there five days four nights how much impact how much blessings will i have gotten from there so yeah i'm getting ready for that i have never and the the traumatizing part is when i heard that you go and leave your phone and then pick it after the retreat so for those five days i will not i will not have my phone from sunday 3 p.m. I will not have my phone till Thursday. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm the type of person. Do you know why it's a big deal? Because I'm the I'm the type of person who me and my phone are usually like the farthest <laughs> what centimeters away. And this is when I'm asleep because I sleep with it when it's just like I'm always close to it. I'm addicted to my phone in in in, in that. Sometimes I go to the washroom and wonder why I've carried it and I'm not even using it. So yeah, imagine me now five days without my phone. I was even like, mm, I'm, I'm going to look for a kabambe so that I can, kabambe is the small phone, the, the, the buttons one. So I was like, I'll carry it so that um, I'll be checking time and all that. But then my friend who introduced me to Vicentian, like she, she has been a part of my faith journey. Rosalia, God bless you. Every time I pray, I pray for you. Like through it's it's you. It's you that changed me in a good way. So I I, I told her that she was like, no. Like if they say no phones, don't carry your phone. Then she told me a story of this this person that carried the phone and something happened. Anyway, so we are going to follow rules. No phone. I, I was to get a watch, but I've still not gotten a watch. Because I thought, let me just let me just stay like that. L let me just even not know the time for those five days and see what impact it makes to me. Like I'm so excited. So um, yeah, let's pack for it. <laughs> um, so I I've gotten some. Uh, I'm from the supermarket. That's why I, I arrived late. The the, the the mass or the service ended at um at around five today today was intense we didn't even go for lunch we've been fasting since morning we fasted for like 12 hours okay 10 <laughs> like it was powerful you can they're, they're usually on, on their youtube and facebook you can just sit back and go and check first of march the service oh my god yeah so we fasted uh, it was not intentional there was a lot of things during the service so that's why we were, took lunch at uh, 5 p.m and then by the time it's done and then there was traffic of a lot of people today i've never seen th those number of people like today's today was like because the, the, the hall was full i don't know the capacity of the hall but that hall is huge it was full and then like a quarter of the hall was outside so yeah uh it took uh it took it took uh, some time eh? another rule is you're not supposed to talk to people uh, apparently they, there was one for 
I think unmarried and jobless. So I was like, mm, maybe they are married, go to meet fair. I was told, no, you don't talk to anyone. The rule is don't talk to anyone. You're going there to seek your God because not everyone is there for good intentions. You know, you might go and get distracted. Yeah, so let me pack. Let me pack. I am a heavy packer, so I don't know. I'm going to leave some things. I'm going to definitely I'm going to definitely overpack. Let's go. Okay. I've already gone to the supermarket, but let me show you what I got. <laughs> Carrying a blanket, a towel, a kikoi, uh, my pajamas and um, underwear below the pajamas and then outfit for the three days. So outfit one, outfit two, outfit three, yeah. <sighs> oh shoes, oh shoes, shoes. Bonnets. Oh my god, the overpacking comes here. <laughs> Pocket uh, wipes, water wipes, <laughs> no end wipes, shower gel, of course, my favorite. Then here goes snacks, but this is just what, just sweet toothpaste, paint balm, lip balm. ID don't need to see the toothbrush. Um okay, I need in case of anything <laughs> another comb. This is the most portable mirror I have. Then a notebook, of course, and this is what I'm in waiting for. So this one has to be here. Has to be here. Huh. Next is my prayer book and my Bible. Oh, rosary. Ah, earbuds. I have to smell nicely my vitamin C, my body splash, my rose water, my styling gel, my moisturizing and sunscreen, my leave in treatment lotion and glycerin you saw the other the petroleum jelly what else i don't think i need anything else ah uh, four handkerchiefs because the constant is tears eh? <laughs> and now i'm there for five days so i think four enough that place is cold i've been there for a night vigil so i very warm socks a bandana oh a sweater i need to pack a sweater it's uh 2 p.m i just arrived at vrc yeah, waiting for checking at uh 3 p.m hmm. my bags are here the overpacker three bags <laughs> and uh, the three bags it's when i decided to like leave some stuff so yeah so yeah some 40 minutes till i surrender my phone which i'm going to see again on thursday today is sunday <laughs> yeah let's do this i hope this hair gets me to thursday because i don't want to comb my hair i just want to concentrate on one thing that's reflecting my spiritual life time to get registered came and we were given a form where you fill in your details i've concealed my details because i don't want you knowing <laughs> what i don't want you to know okay so um i was allocated uh, a mattress and uh, a pillow there it was time to go and uh, spread my bed unfortunately i forgot my bed sheets but i carried a kikoi which i just transformed into bed sheets hmm. Now, I was just waiting for the next direction or what we were supposed to do. Yeah, so I just waited and then another, this was time for me to leave the, the, the dormitory. And a rule was at all times during the retreat, you're supposed to wear your badge. Here is mine.
it was a hot afternoon i had finished my drinking water a whole liter <laughs> so i went to look for uh drinking water they've actually provided uh purified water because when i was showering i actually tasted the water <laughs> and it tasted salty so yeah it, it would not be safe to drink okay not safe i i like enjoying water so if it's salty yeah you know so yeah got my water and went to church okay so i don't know what time they're going to take the phones away but um just waiting because i actually didn't carry the charger because i thought they are taking it at the gate or during registration so yeah just waiting for that so now we are going to begin so it's time to surrender my phone uh, we didn't give them yesterday today is monday so we woke up at six started prayers at 6 30 we've taken breakfast at eight so when i'm now going to surrender my phone because actually i've seen i'm not concentrating i'm not using it but i'm just anxious and wondering when am i going to submit it so yeah let me just go and submit it if you see me on in front of the camera it's thursday so bye <laughs> i've just gotten my phone back four days later and this phone has taken like 10 minutes to work <laughs> i don't know yeah i'm going to get my breakfast and leave <laughs> i've just gotten home uh arrived home took a shower so i've not even relaxed and um uh, yeah i would like to share my experience with you guys so um today was the last day was the fifth day what we did today i, I don't know why i've started with today but let me just be done with it so we woke up at 6 a.m by 6 30 we started our mass which ended at uh, around 8 30 and then we took breakfast and then after that uh people now are like doing cleaning other days we don't do cleaning there are people that do that but today we like people just volunteer to clean the church to clean the dormitories to i i i, I washed utensils and then people left at their own um will i think i was among the first people to leave because i left at uh, 10 yeah around 10 and I, it's around 12 so just gotten home Okay, let me just wear this yeah so uh overall it was a good experience i never thought that you know i i i oh i I've, i told you that i've been going there on fridays for the day service but uh when my friend rosalia hi rosalia i will mention i keep, i'm so grateful to you so um she told me that uh okay so i uh today is today is thursday so we were talking with her like one sunday ago the sunday of um i think the last sunday of uh, february yes the last sunday of february that's when i decided to go for this retreat and then she's like oh by the way now she's telling me what to carry and what not to carry things like that and then she's like oh by the way you, you leave you leave your phone you leave your phone um at the gate when you after you've gotten in i'm like what do you mean you mean that i'm going to be there five days without my phone honestly for those five days i've not been bored at all i actually get bored when i'm i have my phone and i'm outside the retreat it was just a, 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 a time to just relax think about my life just love god know god talk to god you know all that 
it was an amazing time actually we would have like okay so let me give you like a, a rundown of how the day was like apart from today because we've left so um we arrived on sunday uh got got registered at 3 p.m and then we were located our various beds and uh badges and all that and then we started the service at five so five five to five to eight five, we had a session five to eight where there was um um wash praise and worship prayers and then preaching and then at eight we was it eight or seven thirty we took our supper that day we ate uh that i i still had my phone then so i recorded we ate um rice beans and cabbage and then went back for adoration <clears throat> until 10 until 10 p.m and then the following day we woke up at 6 a.m by 6 30 you're supposed to be in the church we start with adoration and then take breakfast at eight then after that we do um preaching until one then do lunch and then after that there is mass there was mass then uh, to, uh from four to five is a break of one hour so you can shower do your own things sleep and then go back another service uh, from five to seven i think seven yeah then that, that 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 day the preaching was about i think repentance so we watched uh passion of christ it's a movie about the what christ went through at the cross and then after that we went to sleep because it was already 10 so that is what has usually been and then on tuesday the program was the same but now we because on tuesday we were being taught uh we were taught about confession and all that and we also like those who, who like everyone confessed if you're not a catholic you there was a special service or maybe if you've been held to, for to go for confession or to receive the eucharist there was a special service for you then there the rest went for confession and then we fasted so there was no lunch and then uh that dinner they provided tea and scones at uh at 4 p.m actually thought that we were fasting for 12 hours from 8 when we took breakfast but at 4 we were given the tea and the bread and then supper that day to likula nyama <laughs> <laughs> we had but let me tell you when 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 you're somewhere no, you're not supposed to leave the, the place you, you you have no phone like you're following a certain schedule so so when you're enclosed at a place small things like meat <laughs> is a big deal anyway yeah so we had ugali uh beef and uh cabbage and then yeah it was like that like it was really good food uh we were almost 500 people and they really made good food because even for breakfast we had um buttered bread and eggs and tea like it was healthy it was a healthy diet it, it was uh amazing and um there's a point where i said that uh i thought i would get bored without my phone i did not actually we would see it like the, the the longest one was uh from nine after breakfast to one we would sit for preachings and, and and then all of a sudden i i, I hear the priest saying let's pray for the food i'm like what do you mean we've just sat down five minutes ago what do you mean it's lunch time already like time would move really fast yeah and uh i love that i've learned a lot I, for once I, <laughs> I i don't write notes when going to church but i've written I've written one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and this part, twenty-three pages. Like I've really learned a lot. I there are things I didn't know about the Catholic faith. There are things that uh you people would ask about the Catholic faith and I didn't know, but now I have answers for you. I don't like arguing about faith, but if you bring them up, I have answers and quotes of the bible I, I really admired how those uh those priests would quote the bible and even those that were leading the praise and worship and all that and i really want i really want to know my bible like that like just be somewhere and say jeremiah 41 says i have never been like that <laughs> honestly but let me tell you give give me some time i feel i, I will be quoting the bible i want to 
really grow in faith and uh yeah things have happened like miracles and uh, yeah personal things so it's an amazing thing to do it's for me who has been addicted who's addicted to my phone five days without it i i like it, it's amazing let me tell you it was a good it, it, it was a good it was a good experience and uh, uh two hours ago and i got into my house I've cried. I don't know. I don't know why. I actually even prayed and told God. I don't know why I'm crying because I don't feel sad. But I, I, I don't know. Please, <laughs> I don't know. I, 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 I don't know if it's the, the, the worry that I'm back. Um, you know now when you, when you're at the retreat, it's so easy to like. Just talk to God. No temptations and all that. But when you leave, when you leave and go back to the real world. So I, I I don't know why I've cried. I'm not feeling sad. Actually, my eyes are not even so like just tears just flew. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so um yeah, it was a good experience. I'll definitely go for more like retreats. Fridays I'll be going there as usual, and then uh, for the residential retreats, as long as I'm available, I'll be going. So I love it, and I would love that for you. I would really love you to experience that. Okay, um, this is the end of the video. Um, have you ever been to VRC? Have you ever gone for a chat retreat? Tell me at the comment section. Kindly subscribe and let's meet on the next one. Bye.